Welcome to Extended Family Living Homesteading on an Acre. This week's episode, Making Sauerkraut. Filmed and edited by Michelle Gontier. Music, Blue Mountains by Gabriel Witcher. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to try making some cheese crackers with the Piermont cheese. Well, you get to see in the opening of this video, me slicing cabbage. Everybody calls this red cabbage, but I tend to call it purple cabbage because it is purple in color. And I've got some of this playing faster than what I can actually cut to save time in the video. And from my fellow legally blind people, now we get to see a glimpse of the chickens and the duck. And back to me. All right, today I am working on cutting cabbage. This cabbage is gonna be made into sauerkraut. The grapes that we tried doing, those failed. They didn't turn into raisins, they just burned. My hands are starting to turn purple again. Actually, they didn't burn, they just turned real hard like rocks. Oh, thanks. Well, somebody told me that they had burned. And that's because I've been working on cutting the cabbage. And when you cut cabbage, the purple cabbage, the color gets on your fingers and stains them. So I decided to try using the paper towel. Put them in there. Is that a big cabbage? It's $5 an ounce? Don't you say? What's he talking about? I said almonds. That's what they were in a little packet. As you can tell, life continues to flow all around me as my folks visit with each other and, and we all communicate. So I continue here with the slicing of the cabbage and I had placed a napkin or paper towel over the cabbage and then held it as I was slicing. It didn't work so great so I eventually abandoned that and went back to slicing the cabbage normally. I enjoy the sound as I'm slicing through the cabbage, the crispness that it has, the freshness. It really makes it an added joy to the process of processing this cabbage into sauerkraut. For those of you who cannot see, this cabbage, when it is sliced open, has some most beautiful pattern, geometric patterns of purple and white. It, it just looks gorgeous. It's beautiful to look at. You know, there's one thing in common with canning season and preserving season mm -hmm. to with painting. I get my hands stained all kinds of pretty colors. Mm -hmm. That was really nice of her to do that though, to share that with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm working on the giant size one. I cut it down into more manageable parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I'm referring to is the largest of the cabbages. It was really This huge. cabbage is so beautiful inside and out. It's they just, are pretty, they have pretty designs. I think. They are, it's like gorgeous. They're a work of art. Mm -hmm. God's art. Yep. This was a two day process of cutting the cabbage, preparing it for making it into the sauerkraut. Am I even getting this on the video? Huh? What was that? The one problem with being a, a person making my own content. I can't see what's on that screen when I'm recording, so I don't know if I'm getting the shot or not. Oh, oh so you're wondering if you're getting what you're doing? Mm -hmm. You are, actually. It's perfectly aimed. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful. I couldn't see in the screen. But my glasses Yeah, on. you couldn't do it any better. You couldn't make it any better. You get that into the container and I'll dump it. This is how I stain my hands. We all do. Yeah. Mine is still purple. 
Well, I got all the purple off from. Well, no, not all of it. Most of the purple off from yesterday. You want to know how you get it off? Sure. Wash some tomatoes, slice them in half. When you're working with tomatoes, it'll wash the purple off your hands. Really? Yeah. It washes the purple cabbage off? Yeah, it does. Wow. I guess it's worth getting itchy hands doing that. <laughs> it works, that's all I can say. Well, tomatoes have been making my hands itch when I... I'm working on processing with them. Mm -hmm. That's why I stopped helping with the tomatoes. Yeah. Maybe I've got a tomato allergy. Well, it's a nightshade family. And a lot of people have allergies with tomatoes. If you have bad joints, don't eat tomatoes. Or things from the nightshade family which are peppers, tomatoes, eggplant. They're all from the nightshade family. Potatoes probably too, Potatoes, huh? yep. Oh, so all the, all the stuff that we normally eat. Mm -hmm. My mother loved tomatoes. I know. But she stopped eating them because they caused so much pain to her. You don't love pain. <laughs> nope. No. Okay, I'm going back in my sewing room. The water is hot, so let me get that in. I got the phone close to me and you can't answer it because you're a mess there. So yep. <laughs> Does that mean I'm off the hook no. for answering the phone? You're off the hook for answering the phone. <laughs> My line is just too busy. <laughs> All puns aside, usually when people call my folks, they get me answering the phone. Now we switch from a video of me cutting to me putting the cabbage into the large stainless steel bin. Folks, seriously, I couldn't resist putting in this photo of the sliced cabbage. I mean, isn't that pretty? Now, I'm sprinkling salt into the crock. Then I take the cabbage and I start to add cabbage. And then layer by layer, I'm alternating a very thick layer of cabbage with a thin layer of salt. I don't put as much salt in the sauerkraut as most recipes call for, and neither do my folks. We tend to have a very limited salt intake. Now, our salt that we use is sea salt. So we don't use anything with bromine or anything with any type of iodine. It's just plain sea salt. Again, when you're making the sauerkraut, you alternate the, the cabbage and the salt in the crock. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just alternating, putting in layers of cabbage with salt into the crock. These crocks are old. They've been used for many, many years, and they get cleaned every time we use them. And now you see a, a view of whatever was being dehydrated that day. And I have no clue what's in the dehydrator, so I can't tell anybody. And now I'm back to slicing the cabbage. Again, with the cabbage, when you're making it into sauerkraut, you do alternate it into the crocs. Now when you're making the sauerkraut, it takes two to six weeks for the fermenting process because that's all sauerkraut is, is fermented cabbage. So two to six weeks in a crock with a weight on it 
to weight it down so that it goes lower as it's fermenting. This is the way we've done it for quite a few years, and you can figure out whatever you can use for weights. We use a plate or a dish, and in one crock, this year we've got canning jars that are full of, I think, peaches in it. And then in the other crock, I'm not sure what we're using for the weight because I didn't put the weight in it. All I did was fill it. Um, I'm sure somebody put in a weight, but I'm not sure what the weight is. Here I'm collecting the loose leaves of cabbage that I had taken off because they weren't cutting quite the same as the other leaves that I was cutting earlier that were on the head. Now I just wrap them up like a sausage or like a cabbage ball and then I put those into the crop. Frequently you'll hear it go silent for those of you that cannot see what's going on on the screen. I'm usually cleaning up my knife, just wiping it clean, or I'm cleaning up the board that I'm cutting. And now here we see a slow motion of the cabbage being put into the pot. And here I am smoothing out the layer and then I add more salt and a slow motion of the salt. Okay, we're gonna try this. I just cut this tomato in half. Well, sort of half. When we do tomato paste, we don't exactly use seeds, so. I want the juice in my hands. Let's see how this works. I gotta say, my hands look like a purple marker exploded all over them. And here, I am washing my hands with the tomato and it's actually getting the stuff off. This works better than the dish soap and the hand soap that I tried the day before. I'm really liking this, even though tomatoes make my hands itch like crazy. So, let's take up some of it off, just from one tomato, but not all of it. The book is that it came off that finger so far, but... Alright. One and a half tomatoes. Got my hands that clean. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want notifications, don't forget to ring the bell.